Hi, I'm Chris with Forma Cars, and I'm here with... Aaron Lohman from All Holland, right. Michigan. Okay. You can hold it's... that one up. I got my own mic here. Okay. There you go. Yep. This is my 51 Studebaker. I've owned it for about 40 years now. Uh, it's got a 350 Chevy, a 5-speed manual transmission, and a 9-inch rear end. It's a driver. I've got 130,000 miles on it. Um, of course, it's uh, plum crazy purple. Uh, like I say, it's a, it's a cruiser. Yep. I enjoy it. I'm lost for words. No, that's okay. So, obviously, what made you choose this paint color? I mean, you have it consistently throughout the entire car. It looks really nice. So, what's, what, what was your inspiration behind that? Uh, my ex-wife picked it out. Okay. So, it's a remembrance of her. Okay. <laughs> Not a good one. And then did you do, uh, like, the dash? Did you I, built it all it, I built the dash. Okay. Um, I built the whole car. Everything, I did not paint it. I did all the mechanical on it. Okay. Um, or no, I did not do the interior either. Okay. But any of the mechanical, I built it. So this, uh, is this all original or is this, you, you did that as well? Uh, it was original convertible. They okay. made 4,200 convertibles that year. Yep. It's a new top. I, it ripped off last year on the way home from Power Tour at 70 miles an hour. Oh, wow. So, damage the trunk, wreck yeah. the top. So, how big is this trunk in here? What's it look like? Thing? It's a power tour trunk. Full of stuff, like ours, for sure. Yeah. Okay. They've got the match cars for the little boys. Nice. Beads for the little girls. Okay. And whoever hands out t-shirts and everything, that goes out to the adults. All right. Keep the hot rod die going. And then you kept it consistent, though, back here. You, you added this on. Yes, this is... This is based on the um, 1940s teardrop. Okay. Except they were four foot by eight. This is five by ten. Okay. So I made it a little bigger. Sleeping area is six five, so yep. plenty of room. Flat screen TV in yeah, there. I saw that in there. That was pretty cool. This is how many states I've traveled so far. Oh wow! Yeah. So I've got about uh, 70 to 80 thousand on the trailer and 130 on the Studebaker. All right. So. I imagine you sleep in this tonight, right? Yes, I slept in it last night. I was departing the whole power tour. Pretty comfortable? Very comfortable. Too you comfortable. Cool in it as well? Uh, nope. Windows, okay. top. All right. I'm from Michigan. We don't use air. Okay. So there's plenty of room for two. I've taken uh, gals with me and no. Nope. All right. So what do we got going on back here? This is my kitchen. I got my food. You have to have dinty more, of course. Yep. It's in there. Purple silverware to match the car. Nice. Fireball for camping. <laughs> All right. And you pull this out, the stove goes up here. Okay. And then that's your daily commodities. Nice. And I generally cook out of here, eat out of there, save money on the trip. Show me what's full what's, what's of this thing. What's in this engine up here? So this is a pretty interesting front on this car, obviously, right? Yes, it, uh, the bullet was designed after the P-85 airplane. Okay. They only made bullets two years, 50 and 51, on Studebakers. Okay. It's a 51 car with a 50 bullet because the other one was kind of eh, yeah. didn't fit in there. The original, the steel's all original. The bumper used to sit out about two feet, and it was not into my idea of a hot rod. Okay, so you modified it? Yes. Okay. All right, so what's under this thing? Here. I'll hold that for you. It's just a stock 350 motor. Um, it's got a cam in there just to give it a low lope, but okay. otherwise, uh, nope, nothing special to the motor. But you obviously, you have the color scheme in there as well. Yeah, I had nice. to put purple there too. Yeah. Everything's purple. Yeah. It's just, it's my gimmick. Yeah. Well, it's good. I like the, it's a, it's a real seamless look throughout the entire experience of this vehicle, right? Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. 
So are you going the whole way? You're going all no, no yes. long? Yes. Okay. This is my seventh long haul. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, the car's seen a lot, and I blew a head gasket on one of the power tours, pulled the motor apart in the parking lot, and put another head gasket in there. Did they help you out with the, the gaskets? Uh, I got the gaskets, but uh, GM Tech said it's too big a job for them. Oh, wow. I said, can I borrow a couple wrenches? What are you going to do? I said, I'm pulling the motor apart. He said, where? I said, in the parking lot. You drive these little cars. Yeah, you get used to it, right? Yeah. It doesn't take too long. No, no. It was, it was about four hours, something like that, and I had a, a group of guys helping me yeah. and everything else. So they said, well, you're done? I said, no, because I retired, and I was going to go on Route 66 and the Power Tour. All right. So I came back two months later. Thank you so much for walking me through this car. Again, really good job. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, have a good day now. You too. Thank you.